I'd like, first of all, I'd like to thank the Minister for bringing forward obviously a comprehensive and wide-ranging bill. It addresses a huge number of issues that has at its heart an effort to make Ireland more competitive and also fairer. More, I believe, could be done, and I hope it will be done in future bu budgets, but we should recognise like what Deputy Phelan has said, it has lifted up to 330,000 people out of the universal social charge. I'd like to welcome, uh, which wasn't announced in the budget, the increase in wealth taxes on capital gains and capital acquisitions, along with a cap of three million on relief for family businesses and farms, which will ensure wealth pays its way. And this wasn't an, an announced at the budget, but I certainly welcome that because I think far too long people have said it's the people on, with wealth have not been paying their fair share, and I believe this is an example of a first step in dealing with that. I'd also like to welcome uh, the increase in dirt tax to 30%. You know, and I think deputies should welcome this. This is about making everybody pay their fair share. Further efforts to clamp down on fraud are welcome. People must have confidence in the revenue, and that all are paying their fair share. And what we do not, did, uh, we do not return to what happened in the 80s with a tax evasion. Measures on fuel laundering are long overdue, and this is in the Finance Bill, and I know this is very deeply felt by Deputy Phelan, who has raised it on several times. There's a series of amendments to the, uh, to the licensings, which I believe are progressive. But I would like to see a couple of issues addressed in the Finance Bill. I'd like to, recommend, I'd like to see the implementation of the recommendation of the Commissioner on Taxation Report 2009, where there should be an annual tax expenditure report published within several months of the Finance Bill, outlining the cost, the effectiveness and the economic impact of various tax reliefs on measures. And I think that would be a progressive and a reforming measure that would allow to see how, very quickly, how the Finance Bill is performing. I, did have, is issue, I have issues with the increase in mortgage interest relief to 30 per cent, because it's not, a tar it's not targeted at the, those it needs at most. And I would ask the Minister if he would introduce an income tax on eligibility for this uh, 30 per cent tax relief, and I should suggest that at the cap should be at least at 200,000 euros uh, for a married couple, and look at, at a balance across, across other income levels. On the section that regulates motor fuel business, which I mentioned earlier, I would ask the Minister to consider an amendment to ensure that one of the conditions of a licence to sell fuel oil and diesel is that the applicant would have pla planning permission. And I think that would be a very efficient way of closing down and if not stopping open illegal uh, fuel laundering businesses opening up across. And I think many people driving around the country will, will have seen uh, fuel stations being operated out of the back of containers, and you really have to question how, in the first instance, they got a licence. The licence is back up on the 31st of June, all uh, sales, and I believe if we introduced that in the finance bill, it would be a very efficient way of closing down what I believe is illegal trade, operating against uh, companies that are paying their fair share of tax uh, and employing people and giving good employment. Uh, Deputy Nolte earlier on uh, criticised the special assigned relief programme, uh, and, I, and it's very easy for Deputy Nolte to forget the benefits that have been brought in in this finance bill. Unlike Deputy Nolte, I was elected with the Labour Party manifesto, which we negotiated then with the Fine Gael as a programme for government. Deputy Nolte ran for election on the programme for government, he which did. he very quickly ejected out and a little bit like Bobby Ewing, stepped out of the shower forgetting why people fo voted for him. It was on the basis of a programme for government with a lot of my colleagues canvassed for him on that basis. And very clearly people knew why they were electing Deputy Nulty, but he seems now to walk away from those responsibilities very quickly. And I'd like to say that in the House here this evening. There's been a lot of heat and misinformation about the Special Assignment Relief Programme. A lot of this has been due to misinformation. Currently, it is tightly worded and ensures that people on high income currently working in Ireland cannot avail of it. It also on, it's only available up to 2014. The person must have worked for a company for a year, not have paid tax in Ireland for the last five years. 
If this attracts highly paid jobs to Ireland by highly paid jobs to Ireland, my understanding of it is it actually gain taxpayers, it will increase revenue and PRSI to the Exchequer, and in that element I welcome it. Oh, sorry, there is an issue I have, and I just want to finish on this. It, it opens up another front in the tax war, and I think we have to be careful, careful of it. I think it needs to be reviewed very quickly in uh, 2014 and make sure that it does, does what it does in the TN. And I apologise for interview. Thank, Thank you, you Deputy.